Kevin Allen Jackson. On behalf of my co-hosts Isaac Simpson and Maria Perry, I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Short on Shorts. Our special guest reviewer this week is actor, writer, director Amber Benson, best known as Tara on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And today we're reviewing Subconscious Password, directed by Chris Landreth. Make sure to check it out before watching our review. The link is in the description below. Enjoy the movie and our review. Our first film is Kevin's Pick, and it is called Subconscious Password. It is written and directed by Chris Landreth, starring Chris Landreth and John R. Dilworth. Um, it is a very strange hybrid animation live action piece about the inside of a man's brain as he handles one of the world's most common social faux pas, forgetting somebody's name, this happens to me constantly. Uh, his consciousness becomes a sort of million dollar password style game hosted by his super ego where great <laughs> figures in history try to guess the name he's forgotten. Uh, that sounds a little complicated. It's actually quite simple, so just you've already watched it, so you know. Kevin, this is a weird pick. Also, I don't know, kind of, I, it seems like a pick you would make, so why did you make this? <laughs> um, wow. Uh, <laughs> movies dealing with neuroses seem to be a theme for me lately. Yeah, they really are. Um, it's true. This is I don't three. know, I, I guess, uh, I guess uh, all, you know, my neurotic side is coming out in my choices a lot lately. Um, and that's always fun, right? It's always fun to delve into those crazy parts of our brains that I know, or at least I hope we all have. Um, you know, I hope I'm not the only one who's nuts like this. Um, and the other thing is that it was a really interesting, like you said, it was this interesting combination of animation and, and live action. And there were actually times when I wasn't sure which it was, mm -hmm. which was neat. And I haven't seen, I'm, I've never exactly been confused like that before. Um, and it was just entertaining. And it was unlike any, it was told in a, in a unique voice. That's it. And it was fun. I crazy. really liked it. I thought it was really neat. I loved how they put it all together. I thought it was really smart. Yeah. Um, I loved seeing, you know, like, you know, William Burroughs popping in and Cthulhu and H.P. Lovecraft. I just, I don't know. I thought it was really, really smart. Yeah. yeah I was, worried maybe that it was a little bit too intellectualized, yeah. but, um, but it, I mean, it was fun. I mean, if you, especially if you understood all the references, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Well, he was clearly an aspiring writer. Right. Because everybody <laughs> in his subconscious was a writer. Except, Except for Yoko. Yeah, Yoko Ono. Ono. <laughs> <laughs> and Shahulu. Cthulhu? Cthulhu. 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 Cholula. <laughs> Cholula. Ch the hot sauce. Cholula. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, the animation style was a little hauntingly creepy, though. It was weird. Yeah, have you seen anything like that before? No. Yeah, I mean, that's part of what's great about it is that, um, and, it, and it's different and at the same time you don't feel like it's this add-on, right? It feels organic to this mm -hmm. bizarre story that he's telling. Um, so it works. But you're right, it's, it is very creepy. I would love to see Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas <laughs> yeah. redone in this style. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That would be actually, fantastic, that's a, yeah. actually. That's a great idea. Because it would so strange. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool film. Uh, for any animators out there, I would highly recommend it because it really is a type of animation that I've never seen before. I don't know how appealing I, it is, but... I am a little jealous, too. Like, I feel like when I forget a name, my brain is not that entertaining. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> what's the name? And then I usually like try to Google. It doesn't work out very well. Yeah. People I've met recently on Google. Well, no, <laughs> if you're real careful, you can like snap a picture Aww. of them and do reverse image searches. Wow. That's really creepy. Really? And, and Facebook, Facebook has the tagging thing now. Yes. So if you upload the picture to Facebook, it sometimes will auto tag oh, it right. as the person's name. It's a long time in the bathroom. What do you do? You basically go in there to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, people pull out phones at parties all the time. Yeah, so you can just be like checking your texts. No one knows. In my day, you went into the bathroom to do a whole different things during No, they do that in public now. <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about? Forget nothing, it. nothing. Okay. About it's okay. It. Masturbation. Go back to Cholula. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, what do you do when you forget somebody's name? What do I do? I just smile really big and just, oh, you, how's your lady? How's your, your man? How's it, you know, just right. stay away from all, all proper names. So you make assumptions about their sexuality? I just smile. 
I just smile. Well, I know, I like, I know, you know, it's like, I know, I know them, and I know they're with that other person, whoever that is, you know, the, yeah. I don't know the names. Yeah. Sure. But your you person, focus on the detail that you the know. The detail, about yeah. The, 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 we, in the short, it's the, you know, we met in Paris, you know, do we meet in Paris? You right. know, yeah. trying to remember what's it's New York. Paris, New, yeah. New York. I do like that at the end, the guy's like, <laughs> I've never been to Paris. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>